Are you tired of all the clutter that the wires from your computers and monitors and other devices create on your desk? Yeah, me too. So stick around because I believe I have your solution. Hey everybody, Robert here. And today uh, I have a couple of gadgets that I believe are gonna help solve this wire problem, or at least make it a whole lot better than what it is. So actually working in technology, I deal with this all the time. Uh, you know, you, you try to set things up real nice. And you have two or three monitors in your computer and in my case, a PlayStation and some other things. But no matter how hard you try, it just seems like the wires are just everywhere. And I believe today I have a couple of products that's going to help me in creating some organization that's on my desk. Because as you'll see here in a little bit, it's a mess. Wires are everywhere. But in my defense, I was moving my desk around a lot, trying to find the perfect spot for it. And I believe I found it. So now I can kind of tidy things up. So today, one of the products we're gonna look at is the Huanu. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. But it's a monitor stand where I can put both my monitors up to get them off the desk. And I'm really looking forward to that because I have a lot of wasted space the other is this KDD desk mount webcam stand. And the problem I have with the webcam is I don't really have any good positions to put it. So I've been kind of toying around with this position and that position. And um, yeah, this will just give me the opportunity to where I can move it wherever I want. And speaking of webcams, you'll definitely want to hit that like and subscribe button because you don't want to miss my review on this new Logitech Brio 4K webcam that I just bought. Um, my other one just wasn't cutting it and I don't really have the money to spend on a nice DSLR. So I needed to find something to replace what I had because it wasn't working. And this right here is actually working really well. So you'll want to definitely stick around for that review. But let's get to it and we will see if we can't create a much more organized workspace okay so the first thing that we are going to hook up is the webcam stand and the reason being is this right here is currently the pole that's holding my webcam and what I'm hoping to be able to do is fit the monitor stand kind of around this so I might have to hook this up off to the side where I can actually bring it over into the middle because I like where the webcam is currently placed. I did a lot of <laughs> maneuvering to get it there. So I really would like to keep it pretty close to that same location. But obviously this is gonna have to go because right there is where the monitor stand is gonna have to go. So let's get this unboxed and see what we got here. I like that it's compact. Oh, that's nice. They give you a, a cell phone holder. I didn't even know that was in there. This is the clamp. And then, of course, we have the infamous instructions that we don't need. And then um, here is the actual pole. And then this is the mount that the... Um, actually, the webcam is going to screw onto that. I really like that the webcams now come with those threads so you can actually mount it. So let's get all this opened up here. Okay, so this has some thumb screws. Not sure how well you can see that. See, it's got these thumb screws here which help you tighten the um, joints, which is nice. Um, it actually has like these little locking teeth right here so when you tighten it up you don't have to worry about it sliding down which i like that a lot because the webcam is not something you want to be moving around once you place it you want to place it and leave it alone which is another reason why i really wanted this because that wasn't happening all right so first things first we are going to mount the pole into the base part. It has like a little set screw hole right here, 
which again, nice. They give you um, thumb screws so you don't have to worry about any tools. So we're gonna just screw that onto there. And that gives you enough where you can, you know, loosen it when you need to move the uh, pole. But right now we're just gonna leave that like it is. And then here, on this end, <clears throat> we're gonna put this adapter and this is what the, again, the webcam is going to mount to. So apparently they give you an extra thumb screw, uh, which is real nice. And as you see, uh, I didn't tighten it tight enough because the base just fell off, but that's okay. Oh, one thing I just noticed, I didn't notice this when I first took it out. This right here has like notched edges. So while it's nice to where that's not going to let it just slide around when you don't want it to, but it could be kind of an issue depending on how I'm going to place it in getting it adjusted right, because obviously I have to get that set screw sitting on one of those edges, which might have been why it fell out. <laughs> So let's just get it in here and then we'll we'll go from there How about that all right so my intent is let me get this screwed here and grief Now, one thing I wish they would have done is this top part right here has a nice padding to it, but this part does not. So you might want to be careful. Like I'm not really concerned about the underneath of this, so I don't really care. But if you have some furniture or something that you're going to mount this to, you're going to want to be careful that that doesn't scratch it. That's, they should have put like a little pad right there. Okay, so... My intent is to mount it somewhere off to the side like this, right? And so I'm gonna loosen this up here so I can actually turn that. Yeah, so see, I'm already running into a weird issue with the adjustment. So because of the notches on that little pole, I have here or I have here. Well, I really want it there. <laughs> so what I'm going to have to do is probably um, move this around back and forth on the desk until I find the right spot. Now, granted, we do have some adjustments here on this head because you can loosen that and you can move this head around, which is nice. Um, but I really... I really want to be able to have it in a different position. Looks like this comes off. That's nice. Okay. Huh. So I guess you can adjust that. Interesting. I don't know why you'd want to do that because it doesn't really come out. So, you know, it would be nice if this had some like tilt adjustment to it but I guess it'll do for now I'm gonna not have to I'm not gonna really worry about it too much I think what I'm probably gonna have to do first and foremost is I'm gonna have to take this light pole down go ahead and mount the monitor stand and then see how that is going to be on the desk before I mount this so I know how it's going to fit so let's just go ahead and do that. So I'm going to unplug this here in wires. These are battery um, operated, so I could leave them unplugged um, 
and then just plug them up when I need to actually, you know, use it. But sometimes I forget to plug it in and charge it. So then it becomes an issue where I need to use it and then it's dead. <laughs> so set that over here. Let's go ahead and I'm just gonna unplug this for the moment. And we will set that down there. Now I do have um, another piece coming that's supposed to be here today, but it's gonna be a little bit later. So I'll add it to the end because that's kind of the last thing I'm gonna do anyways. I'm gonna take my workstation here and I'm gonna put it on a um, CPU stand on the floor. That way, again, I can recover some of this desk space and kind of clear this out and have a little cleaner setup. So let me put this over here for a moment. All right, so we got that all cleaned up there. Let's go ahead and, you know, I'm gonna move these speakers out of the way because I'm gonna have to redo them anyways. I went ahead and shut this down so that way I can go ahead and move it to the floor um, without accidentally unplugging it. It would be a little bit easier to manage it that way. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that yet, but we'll figure that out. Let's go ahead and get this uh, unboxed here and opened up. So next comes the monitor arms. And this is going to, again mount to the base right there. So let's get this opened up here. Some more of those instructions that we don't need. Do you ever really need instructions? Uh, maybe sometimes. Well, that has a lot more screws than I thought I was going to have. So maybe I will need those, but we'll see here in a minute. So one monitor arm that's going to mount to the back of that. Here's the other one. And those devices actually feel pretty sturdy. Um, I kind of like that. Sometimes you get devices that, you know, you, they, they look like they're gonna be sturdy, but when you actually get them in your hand, they're just not. I mean, this right here has metal poles, but these are all plastic joints. And again, the way this situation here with the not being able to turn it, I don't know, we'll see. All right, so here are the brackets for actually putting it onto the disc. What I really liked about this unit is the fact that they give you um, two mounting spots. So you don't have to worry about just one pad holding it. And they put a rubber pad on the actual part underneath. So again, that's smart. And this is the actual base. And as you can see, it's got the two holes for the poles. That kind of rhymes, two holes with the poles. I didn't know I was gonna be a rhyme master today. And here are the other two pieces for the arms. So this will actually go on the here and then that piece connects to there. All right, that's it for the box. See, this it says I need an electric drill. I don't need an electric drill. Oh, okay. So see, I guess 
instructions are a little bit helpful because you know i wasn't sure where all those screws go and apparently it's on the base <laughs> so we're gonna get this put together here i will have to say what i like about uh companies these days just in general that sell you these things is for the most part, they provide you all the tools you need. You know, uh, like for example, this has an Allen wrench and even it has a Phillips head screwdriver part on it. So that's nice because, you know, if you didn't have a screwdriver or whatnot, you know, it's just helpful. Oh, I want to move this over here. Move these over here for the moment. Also, too, I'm sure you see my PlayStation 5. Uh, once I get that CPU stand, it has like a table on top. And I'm going to move that off the desk as well on top of that table along with my controller charger. So here's something that's kind of nice. I like they give you... Um, the ability of adjusting where this sits on here with these knobs. Um, so yeah, that's kind of nice. Again, the ability to have the flexibility, the ability of flexibility. Yeah, that kind of rhymes too. Apparently I'm just in a rhyming mood today, but it is super helpful in being able to have multiple ways of doing things and positioning things. And it gives you lots of options which I like it when they give you options. All right, so this plate goes here, like so. Nice, okay. And looks like we're gonna be using, you know, I'm gonna get my screwdriver because I happen to have a nice screwdriver. And I'm gonna tell you this here, I've had it for like 30 years. And when you spend a little extra money and get quality stuff, that's what it lasts. And this is ratcheting, so it makes things 10 times faster. Okay. So these are the Allen wrench. Find the one that fits that, and it's that one. So, okay. I guess I want to make sure that uh, nobody takes that off, which, I don't know. I guess it could have just been a Phillips, in my opinion, but... All right. One little trick I learned a long time ago in putting things together is when you start a screw, if it feels like it's really tight, go backwards a little bit until you feel it kind of like click down. And then that basically is gonna let you know that the thread is aligned and then you can go back and tighten it and you don't have to worry about cross starting it. I can't tell you how many times that little trick has saved me from cross-setting a screw it's super valuable information <laughs> try it so again if it feels tight back up a little bit you'll feel it kind of pop down and click a little bit and then you can go forward and screw and then it should just screw right in super easy no screw should be super hard to move in so um, if it is it's probably going in at an angle and you're going to cross thread it and that's bad and you should always hand start anyways. So if you hand start things, uh, the chances again of you damaging the threads are virtually none. Because if you're strong enough to hand start a screw and cross thread it, well, you got some strong hands. All right, all right. So that's done, those are on tight. Let's see what's next. Oh. All right, so uh, we can go ahead and mount it, I guess, because they want you to put the little feet on. So um, I'm going to take this and, you know, I'm pretty good at lining things up. And I think right here is going to be a good spot. 
um, that's close enough to center. Again, the nice thing about having these is that you can slide them back and forth. If, it, if Once you put it there, it's not there permanently. So that makes it super easy to be able to adjust. And these right here, I see what they do is you can slide this up to where you can position this further up to where, like, let me, let me get the other one to show you. If you didn't have enough screw here to be able to reach the bottom of the desk, if like this was real wide, you'd be able to drop this down and then you'd still be able to tighten it. Again, very thoughtful design. And once this is tightened up, there's no way that's gonna fall off because the, these little nubs are pretty big. So let's see where I'm gonna screw this out. And I think I'm going to be able to get mine to that second little nub right there. And yes, I can. And so then I can tighten this. And let's go ahead and get this up on there. I'm going to go ahead and tighten these down because I'm going to actually get this together here. Yeah, that's nice. I like that a lot. That's a very sturdy base. Makes you feel good knowing that your monitors aren't gonna fall off the back of your desk because <laughs> that would be bad. And they also have nice cable management here on the bottom of these, which is gonna be super helpful. And one of the reasons why I got this so I could kind of route these cables a little bit better than what they are. These have two set screws. So once you get it positioned, I bet you it is this Allen wrench. It is. Once you get these in a position where you want them, just tighten your set screw and that way they won't move. Again, uh, they put a lot of thought into this design. I really have to say. I'm going to go ahead and take this off here for the moment. Get that out of the way for a minute. Okay. And I see what most of these screws are. Most of these screws are the screws they give you for the visa mount, which is again, nice because um, if you don't have these screws, then you're not gonna be able to mount it. And nobody has the visa mount screws laying around. Well, I guess I do, but you know, I'm a pack rat like that. Okay, so I was wondering what this was for and this they give you if you're going to drill a hole through your desk where you can actually mount this through the hole and provide a little extra security to where it can't just come off but again i don't need that yeah that's a separate option to use without the clamp so if you weren't able to use the clamps on the back of a desk like this, they give the option of actually punching this through a hole and then you can clamp it. And you know, some work desks already have that hole that's cut out for cables. So you could actually just use that since this plate is wide enough. You now, if it's wide enough to fill the hole, you could just set it over the hole and then clamp it down. But again, thoughtful design, but I do not need it. Now, again, these right here are little risers. I don't know if you can see that. And what this does is on the back of the monitor, when you uh, disconnect it, if you need some extra space to where uh, you can't fit the plate in properly, these allow you to space it out. So again, helpful, but I don't think I'm going to need it. We're going to find out though here when I take this monitor off. All right, so let's do this one first. Some plug it. And I'll have to say too, I've had these, uh, these are Dell Ultra Sharp 27 inch um, 1440 QHD monitors. And I've had them for several years and love them. Uh, they look great. They have, you know, if you use the regular Dell stand, 
It gives you all kinds of capabilities for moving up and down. You can move side to side. You can twist it. Super, super convenient. So, but let's get the monitor off here. So it's got like a little clip here and you pick the monitor up and you just lift it off uh, the tabs. Let me show you. On the back here, you can see we have those four screws that are currently like holding the plate on. So we're gonna take those screws out because that's where the visa mount screws will go to mount the plate. And these screws might actually be long enough. If they are, I'm just gonna reuse these. I won't use the screws they gave me. I believe they will be long enough. It's nice they kind of standardize this visa mount um, standard because, you know, you can buy almost any mount and it will fit, whether it's a computer monitor, TV screen. Um, yeah, they just really did a good job of that. All right, so we are going to... I don't guess there's a way... I guess this doesn't really matter because you know once you get the monitor on this right here will spin so it doesn't really have like a particular direction because there's so much you know adjustment in this hinge right here so let's just get it on here and mount it up make sure all the holes are lining up yep perfect and these screws are long enough, so I'm going to reuse the screws that came with it. Again, hand start your screws. Like on this right here, if you were to cross thread one of these screws, you just might as well buy a new monitor is you're not going to fix that. So, as you see, nice and tight. And we're going to take it and mount it. And yeah, that's going to be awesome. Very awesome. And um, PlayStation 5 HD webcam. Um, not the greatest, but actually does a pretty decent job if you want to stream from your PS5 uh, and you don't want to use OBS on a computer or something. Um, so yeah, get you one. It's actually uh, pretty helpful. Works well. And you see what having a ratchet screwdriver, how much time it saves. Because I mean, <laughs> it's a huge time saver. And you can even get you like a little electric one, but I would caution using any type of electric screwdriver on equipment like this because, uh, again, it can be easy to over torque it and you just don't want to break anything. It's not worth it. Okay, there you go. Easy peasy. So we need to actually spin that around. Move that and put that in there. Perfect. Man, that's nice. Already, it's nice. And in case you're wondering, this Steel Series. Um, microphone it's the alias pro is a xlr microphone and it has two usb outs where you can hook to two different computers it's really a great design i think they've done a great job with it it works really really well i also have my regular speakers plugged into the back because in the software on the computer you can choose the output and you can change it to the auxiliary out. So if, if you don't want to have your headphones on, you want speakers, you can just connect that. So um, again, another 
awesome gadget. I should probably do a review on that, shouldn't I? I should, because it's great. Another nice thing too about this stand that I've got coming is it actually has a small little power strip on top. So I can use that to plug some stuff in, which is gonna be super helpful. They do want you to take that screw out. Let's get this out and take a look at it here. They want you to route the cables on the side of this and then pop it back up in there. So that makes sense. I was wondering, cause I'm like, that just doesn't seem right to me. Let's go ahead and plug this up here. And let's unplug that for now. Nice and smooth. All right. All right, that's that. So this gives me enough. If I want to tilt it up, make sure you have enough cable to do all the woo, spinning around you want, if that's what you want to do. Perfect. And nice thing, I mean, you can always you can always adjust it later. All right, so that one's done. Let's get this other side done. Let me give you another helpful tip: magnetic screw bits. Again. <laughs> Lifesaver. That's it. I mean, other than adjusting the set screws, that's done. Lots of ability for adjustment at all the different hinge points. And kind of what I wanna do is like have it down low. Of course, this wants to pop up because I gotta adjust the screw, adjust the tightness. But uh, one of the monitors I'm probably gonna have down a little low. The other I'm probably gonna have a little high. Um, I don't want my gaming monitor up this high, so this will definitely be down a little bit lower. And uh, Actually, probably a little more forward. You can take one monitor, turn it sideways if you want. I really like this a lot. I would highly recommend this. I'm going to go ahead and get all this adjusted and get these cables route. And we'll uh, come back and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so my stand got here. And this is the Hubro computer tower stand. And it is going to go over on that side of the desk where the tower is currently situated. And uh, I'll be able to get the PlayStation put on top and get all the finishing touches done. So I'm gonna get this unboxed and I'll get it put in place and I'll be back with the conclusion. Okay, so I finally got that in place. And as you can see, I got all my PS5 stuff sitting on top. I've got the tower sitting on the bottom. Now, in order to use the top of it, I did have to kind of uh, scoot the tower to the edge of that bottom uh, board there, but that's okay. Everything fits like it needs to fit. Everything looks fine. And uh, cables are all routed great. So, works out perfect. This is a view from the front. You can see everything's nice and tidy. So, love it. 
this worked out excellent. Um, I did end up taking that power strip or block out of the back though, because where the PlayStation sits, I needed the room and I couldn't sit the PlayStation base over top of it without having it out. I didn't really need it. So it was just kind of a, something that was there, but um, yeah, that's it. Looks awesome. Okay, so here is the finished product. Uh, the desk is much cleaner, much more organized. I still have some cable management to do down here. But, uh, yeah, fantastic. Um, was able to get my webcam bar, the mount, mounted as I anticipated being able to, where I'm kind of like going over that arm. Because again, this arm here doesn't go up. It stays where it's at. This is the arm that moves up and down. And I was able to adjust the rods in order to get the camera in basically the same position that it was. Now, one thing I realized is I wasn't sure what these were here for, but you can unscrew these and then you can twist the bar. So you see how I got this now sideways because I was able to unscrew that twist this sideways and then angle that that way, um, which gave me my correct camera angle. So as we come around here, we can see how it looks super clean. And so you can see where I have the webcam mounted it's pretty much right in front of me where the other one was and as you see i have the monitors kind of in different positions which is what i wanted that monitor there is right behind the camera which i wanted because i can actually now uh, use that monitor when i'm reading stuff off of the screen without necessarily look like looking like i'm looking away <laughs> so anyways super happy with it um I want to tidy a few things up and oh yeah i was able to add my other webcam over there just to get a second perspective as far as what i'm doing recordings and uh, we'll see how that works I haven't used that yet but we'll check that out and see and i still have to probably realign my um, ps5 camera but again no big deal so let me get a few things wrapped up and then i'll be right back Okay, so I have finished all the little adjustments other than the PS5 camera. And as you can see, my streaming camera is now at the perfect position. Uh, pretty much the same spot it was beforehand, which is what I wanted to accomplish. So I'm, that's pretty good that I was able to get that done. Uh, I just didn't want to have to maneuver all the different positions again. But um, that was actually pretty easy. Uh, what, a couple hours? Um, I had to reroute a few cables, but the actual installation of the device was easy and it was pretty straightforward. Uh, I was able to get the arms adjusted to where the monitors won't move up and down by themselves. So I can actually put them where they are and they'll stay there. Uh, so it looks great. Um, I have another video I'll show you. So I'm showing the whole um, desk area so you can see how it all looks. Uh, turned out great. I'm super happy. Um, I will say this though, the webcam mount is ah so-so. I'm not too thrilled with it. It has some inadequacies as far as how you can adjust it. And some of the thumb screws and things are not of that great a quality, but it'll do for now. I'm not, I mean, it sits where it sits. I'm not going to be moving it at this point. So there's no sense in replacing it unless something happens. But I don't know that I would buy that unit again. It was rather inexpensive. Um, and I guess in this case, you get what you pay for. Now, the monitor arms, the stand was not super expensive either, but it's extremely high quality. And it is something I would highly recommend. So yeah, I'm super happy, super happy. I got all my cables off my desk. I have so much more room now. I can actually set my laptop up if I wanted another device that I needed to use. I can actually move the monitor out of the way and just set it on the desk. So super happy with how it turned out. Listen, 
I'm going to put the links in the description to these devices. So make sure you click and go check them out. And if you do purchase from one of those links, I will get a small commission. Uh, they are Amazon associate links, so I do appreciate that. Uh, it just helps keep the channel going. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know. And uh, let me know what you think about the way it looks. Um, yeah, I'd like to know what you think. So I do appreciate you coming by and watching. And definitely want to hit that like and subscribe. And you'll definitely want to check out this video here on getting your home office set up.